Assalamualaikum. Welcome to California Care. Today we are going to show you a little survey radiography on pediatric proposition. Does not by any means cover the whole mouth, but for a little survey on pediatric patient, I would recommend these four films and how to take them. So of course we have four films right here. Before I expose them, I always keep the white surface towards me. And once I have exposed the film, I turn it upside down. That way to avoid the confusion of reusing the same film. And this is akin to using the film as paper. There's nothing written on it and the paper is white. The moment you write on it, it turns a different color. So we expose the film and then we put it upside down. And one by one we can go through all the films. And even if the films are jumbled together, you know exactly which one is not exposed and which one is exposed. And of course we use a film holder. You can use a film holder to hold the film properly. Or you can also use a hemostat. On the film, you'll notice a little pimple on the film and it's also drawn as a little circle in the back if you see. The circle needs to go towards the occlusion so it does not give you a wrong view of the apex. If this pimple shows up at the apex, you might think of it as a periapical radiolucency. And in the film holder, you hold the film as such. So this will be, this film can be used for the upper left side and the patient bites here. This goes inside the mouth, this comes out the cheek and it can also be used for the lower right side. Opposite of this, this way, this film can be used now for the upper right side or lower left side. So that's how it goes. A lot of people don't have this, so what I would recommend is if you don't, then you can use a hemostat. The, the use of uh, using an instrument like this, it would give you the angulation of the film if the film is placed straight in the mouth and the patient bites down, it also positions the film right in the back of the mouth. And you can look at this angle of the holder to align your cone to make sure that you're angling properly. If you need to bisect, you can do the cone like this. If you need to take straight picture, the cone goes straight at it. And from this, you can also approximate where the, cone, where the film is so the cone does not give you a cone cut in the top or the bottom or anywhere on the film. Ready. Another thing to recommend is whenever you have radiographic equipment, like the extra head, please cover it with a shopping bag. It's like a simple plastic bag disposable. That way you prevent cross-contamination from one patient to the other. This way you can use the instrument, holding it with your hands, gloved hands, and then once you're done with the procedure of the patient, you take the bag away and you throw it away, put a new one for the next patient. And that is very hygienic, particularly in the regions where there is a lot of uh, tuberculosis, like in Pakistan or in India or Bangladesh, that would prevent the cross-contamination. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take anterior radiographs first of the maxillary anterior region and, max and mandibular lower region. And for that I'm going to use bisecting angle technique. That means once the film goes inside the mouth, the, the radiation source, which is a cone, is not parallel to it, but it bisects the angle between where the tooth is and the film is, so it would push the root tips onto the film. And this is how it is taken. Open please. Close down. See, the child is very apt to getting this kind of radiography done very quickly. You put it down and we use a bisecting technique, it's right this way, pause. Start. Hmm. For the lower arch, you open it, close. And then you have the child tilt the head up and you bring the machine down from the bottom like this and you expose it, pause. And for the survey of the posterior region, we're going to take this as a bite wing radiograph. For bite wing, you want to hold the film right down the middle and snap it with the hemostat, but don't snap it too much. You don't want it to pinch and perforate the film cover, but you do it like this. And I would keep the, the, the pimple, the dimple on the film, all the way to the bottom on both sides. That way we know exactly which way orientation is. The pimple is anterior on the right side and will be posterior on the left side. Open. And you place it inside, a ah, little bigger, and close down there and the patient closes down and make sure you have them closed on the teeth Pause. and when it is when it is placed you want to make sure that your cone is exactly perpendicular to the film but parallel to the long axis of these two wings on the hemostat mm -hmm. so you see now the films are exposed and what we'll do is we'll align them and we'll take them upstairs to develop and then we'll look at how the images come and that would give you a good view on the child exploratory view and in case you need to take periapicals afterwards you can always do so.